upgradable smart contracts, a way for us as blockchain developers to make changes and modifications to our already deployed smart contracts. Not exactly like that, because we know that the blockchain is immutable, but at least it's a good way for us to, to have different versions on our decentralized applications. As I just mentioned, the blockchain is immutable and is one of its strongest and weakest points. We already know the strongest ones. If the blockchain is immutable, it means that when a register has been made, no one can modify it or change it, so we can prevent manipulation and bad modifications. But something that we don't talk that much as we should is about what are the weakness of that immutability. The obvious problems is that if you made a mistake, you cannot correct it. That's why we deeply recommend for blockchain developers to do as many tests they need on their local environment, because once a smart contract is deployed on a blockchain, if you let a bug unsolved, well, you cannot correct it ever. Also, you cannot add new features into your DApp. As the environment and the industry grows constantly, you might need to add new features to satisfy your customers' needs. But if the blockchain is immutable, well, it means you cannot add those new features to your smart contracts. And also, another problem is the address of the contract is unique. So for example, let's suppose you deploy a RC20 token for your DAP. That RC20 token gets indexed on most of the DEX and exchanges out there. And if you want to launch the version 2 of that token with more features and functionalities, you will have to go one by one to all those DEXs and exchanges and convince them to use the new address for your new contract. So taking in mind this and a lot more of problems, the idea of having upgradable smart contracts, contracts that you can modify, well, it grows stronger and stronger every time. One of the most popular patterns to create upgradable smart contracts is using the proxy method. So basically, your users are going to interact with just one contract, which is going to be the proxy contract, and you can deploy different versions of your DAP, and the proxy contract is going to point to each one of those. So your users are going to always interact with this unique contract and in the meantime, you can make as much as modifications you like. This is a pretty popular pattern, but it has a big problem and is that you don't know when a new version was released. And yes, you may trust the persons behind the dApp you are using, but if they don't announce they have made changes or they've released a new version, as you are going to keep interacting just with the proxy contract, you may never know that a new version was released. On the other hand, maybe you are the responsible behind a DAP and you just want to notify your users automatically that a new version is out. So today we are going to learn how to use Morales streams to listen in real time to that upgrades and get notified when a new version of our upgradable smart contract is out. So keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. For today's tutorial, we are going to showcase a really simple smart contract. Here I have a really simple smart contract called Box B1 which has this variable called value, and you can set up that value and get the information of that value. Really easy. So let's suppose we deploy this, and this is the first version of our contract. Then we change our mind and we said, okay, we want to add more functionalities to this. So I have here another contract called box b2, which is exactly the same, but with a new function called increment. So it's going to take the value stored on this parameter and add one to it. But now we are in troubles because all of our users are already using this version one and we need them to update to use the version two. But we are lucky because we are using the proxy pattern. So we have a proxy admin, which is going to update that information automatically. And our users are just going to interact with our proxy admin contract. 
We are not going through how to create a proxy pattern on this tutorial, but if you want to learn how to create upgradable smart contracts step by step, please let us know on the comments below and we will work on a video for that specific purpose. The only thing I want you to notice is this proxy element has an event called upgraded, which is going to send the information of the address of the new implementation and this is the event we are going to listen to. So here on scan, I already have the contract deployed, which has this specific address for the GoEarly test network. So now let's learn how to use Morales streams to listen to that event on real time. And by the way, if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video for you to hit pause, go to Morales.io and get your free account. Once you log in, you can go to your stream section and we can get it started. As you can see here, I already have a demo stream I made for this video, but let's create one from scratch. So let's click on create a new stream. Let's take the address of the deployed contract. In this case, it's the proxy admin contract. And let's paste it over here, click enter. And now we are going to have this information. We are going to set up a webhook over here, but for now, let's leave it at demo. We are using the Goerly blockchain. We just care about the contract interactions. We don't care about the native transactions. And here we have to paste the contract ABI. So that's why I already verified this contract on Interscan because we can go to contract over here. And here we have the contract ABI. We can just copy here and paste it on our Morales stream. And the Morales stream is good enough because it's going to immediately recognize all the events your smart contract has. And as I told you, we want to listen to this upgraded event over here so let's check it and we are not going to use any advanced filter so let's click on update stream and this should work let's test this out and by the way on my project i'm using brownie to deploy these contracts so i have here a script called upgrade box which is just going to take the version one of the box and update it to the version two so let's run that script with the brownie command on the goarly network Remember, we are using a testnet, so we have to wait until the new contract is deployed and all the transactions go through. Well, all the transactions went through and we have now a new version of that box smart contract, which has been deployed. The important part to notice for us here is on the Morales panel, we are going to have a new event triggered. And as you know, we are listening to this upgraded event so we note the information we are getting here is the one we wanted. We can also check the ABI and we can see here the event. So this is great. As you can see, Morales makes our life as developers really easy. But instead of using this just on the demo tab, let's create something more useful to us. Morales Streams requires a webhook URL, which is going to be the one Morales is going to send the information to. So we are going to create a small server in this tutorial using TypeScript and then create a tunnel using Unjurok to create our webhook URL. So first of all, let's create that simple server. Just notice that we need some dependencies in order to do this. Check those out, Morales Web3 Core, Express, Morales, Node Notifier, Nodemon, and TypeScript. These are basic dependencies and remember all the code we are using for this lesson is on the GitHub link on the description. So you can check this out and just use a npm install to get all the dependencies you need for. Let's go back to the index.ts and let's get started by importing Morales. So import Morales from Morales. On this tutorial, we are going to get live desktop notifications if a new version has been launched. So let's also import notifier, const notifier equals to require note notifier. To create a server, we are going to use express. So const express equals to require express and let's use it to create a server. So the app is going to use express and it's going to use the port 3000. Now let's say app.use express and create a new route for our server called webhook, which is going to receive the response. And let's say the webhook is going to be equal to the request.body. And in order to run this, we need to say app.listen and let's put a console.log here 
listening to strings. And that's it. With just 16 lines of code, we have a functional mini server over here. And now let's go to the important part, the log here on the Morales streams. You're going to look that we get the information of that event happening, but we are not getting on any part the actual address which has been deployed. Because if we go back to the logs, well, we are going to get all the logs, but on a hash format. So we need to decode this. So based on the contract API, where the event is called upgraded and the name of the variable is implementation, let's create a new interface on TypeScript for that purpose. Over here, let's say interface upgraded. And this is going to have that implementation and as this is an address, it's going to be a string. Now let's decode that. So let's say try, we are going to have a new variable called decode logs, going to be equal to morales.streams.parselogged. Here we are going to use that interface, upgrade it, and it is going to use the information from the webhook. If everything goes well, let's use that notifier library. So notifier.notify. And let's say the title is going to be box contract has been upgraded. And the message is going to be new version address. And we are going to use these decode logs. And we need, of course, the implementation. As easy as that. Let's put a catch statement over here. If something goes wrong, let's just return a status 500.json. And by default, let's also add another return statement, but with the 200 status, which means that everything goes well. And yeah, this is it, as easy as that. Let's go to the terminal, let's compile this using mpx tsc to transform that into a JavaScript file. And now we can run the server using node this slash index.js. And we are running that local server over here. Of course, as I already told you, Morales Streams requires a webhook URL, so let's create that bridge. And for that, I'm just going to use ngrock to create a tunnel, so ngrock and on the port 3000. This is going to generate a new address that we can use as our webhook. This address is actually pointing to our local host on the port 3000, so we can go back to the Morales admin panel, paste the URL over here, and remember, the endpoint we created is called slash webhook, so let's add that over here. We can set up any description, for example, live upgrades notification, and the tag could be upgrades demo, for example. Let's click on update stream, and if the connection went properly, we are going to have a notification here called succeed. Let's change this to production. So now if everything goes well, each time we have a new version, we are going to have a live notification here on our desktop. So let's try this out. I'm going to run the same script to create a new version of that box contract. And let's see if this works properly. And once the new version of that contract is deployed, we get the notification with the address of that new deployed smart contract. And yes, I show you this using notifications just for showcasing purposes. But now you can use this exact same information in any other context you want. Maybe you want to use Morales Streams to automatically notify or update your web page to inform the users of your DAP that a new version of the smart contract has been released. And as you saw, this was a really straightforward process. And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the Git code repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.